Good afternoon, oh no, good morning everybody and welcome to week two of the Spring Hormone Detox. Um, I hope you have all managed week one in some format and that you're feeling a little bit connected to the Spring Hormone Detox, have enjoyed some of the breakfasts and um, the body scrubs and our morning rituals. I actually have I love this uh, body scrub. I'm so pleased that I thought about it and um, I've been using it every morning and I found that I haven't needed to use any body moisturiser this week at all. So um, that's absolutely fab for me as far as I'm concerned. So um, anyway, I hope that you have all been enjoying it and working to the best that you can. Um, maybe using the gratitude as well. I love that. Um, what I found is that I've actually done a summary of it in my um, journal, just saying the things that I found easy, the things that I haven't found so easy. I have managed to include most things, but um, I admit to a few teas, coffees and glasses of wine sneaking in there as well. It's been a pretty crazy week for me and um, yeah, I've done, the, I've done the best that I can. Anyway, this week we are just including two or three more things, um, which one of them is uh, dry skin brushing in the morning. The second thing is um, using Bragg's raw organic apple cider vinegar, which will suit some of you, but not all of you. And thirdly, actually, we're going to be connecting with the moon a bit more with the element of air. As the moon um, grows this week, she connects with the element of air and uh, our energy should increase as well as she as as she expands so we're going to be connecting with her a little bit as well so first of all what i would like you to please do this week is the dry skin brushing now um the easiest way to do it i have actually written a whole blog about this and given you really clear clear um instructions as to how to do it and i'm guessing that a lot of you do this already but after you've drunk your glass of water, um, before you get in the shower, we do the dry skin brushing. We start at the feet and the movement goes upwards towards the heart. Now, um, let me just try and show you. So you would go from your fingertips up to your wrist. Obviously, you would do this on your feet as well. And then on the other side, from your wrist to your elbow, working your way round your elbow up to your shoulder, like this, okay? And then actually when it gets to your um, breasts, you do do your breasts actually, and I'm just going to show you how to do this. So you put your arm up and you brush down towards your nipple, okay? And then you brush up from your, um, from the base of your breast up towards your nipple, and you would do the same on the other side. So that shows you how to do your breasts as well. Um, if you have had cancer in the past, that might not be appropriate for you. So I don't necessarily recommend that if you have had breast cancer or surgery related to that. But if you suffer from fibrocystic um, breasts or anything like that, lumpy breasts, then it will probably be really suitable for you, providing obviously it's not cancer related. So every morning I would like you to do that. I do recommend a long handled brush. Um, and that's the link that I've given you for that. But as you can see, I actually have taken mine off. I find it easier without the handle, but I, I think that's just me, you know, a bit cack handed. So anyway, that's what we're doing in the morning. And then we're doing our body scrub and our oil pulling, etc. having a beautiful breakfast. Um, now, secondly, we're going to be using organic apple cider vinegar. This might not support everybody. And the reason for that is um, apple cider vinegar is to support the alkalinity at cellular level. It's a great detoxification vest, uh, support. It's great to get rid of bad bacteria. It's fabulous for blood sugar regulation. So it really helps you if you like to lose weight, etc. Um, I'm inviting you to use this once or twice a day in between meals, ideally. Um, I've put the instructions down there for you, but it's using a small teaspoon or a dessert spoon and filling your glass with water. Um, I like hot water 
and sometimes I add a little bit of honey to it but you can have it cold if you prefer and maybe add some fresh mint leaves or something um, depends on, on what on what suits you but you have it as an aperitif and um, great for sugar great for skin great to support detoxification if you are unsure about using it then I suggest that you um, drink some bicarbonate of soda, one teaspoon, first thing in the morning before you get out of bed, um, on one particular morning before you start using it, and dilute that bicarbonate of soda in water, drink it down and see what reaction you get. If you belch uncontrollably straight away, then it probably is not going to suit you. Um, and that is because you are too acidic within your stomach for that to suit you, okay? If you do belch uncontrollably, please drink lots of water and it should ease and uh, go quite quickly. So I've put all the details down for that. The, the reason we're using Bragg's is because it is a raw organic apple cider vinegar. It has the mother inside it, which is like this, these enzymes that really support our well-being. So um, I've put the link down for you to try and use that as well. If you suffer from dry scalp or um, hair issues, skinish, um, you know, like dandruff or dry scalp, then a lot of people like to actually rinse their hair with it just before, um, just at the end of their shampooing and conditioner. So you would rinse it with um, apple cider vinegar, dilute it obviously in water, but it makes your hair lovely and shiny and gets rid of all of the soap scum. So that's another way of working with it. Um, we're also working with lunches this week. So we're including our lunches. Before last week, as the moon was much smaller, we were just thinking about our breakfasts and grounding practice. This week, we're actually working more with our lunches as well. Um, I have made some lovely recipes, even if I say so myself, simple ones that you can take to work with you and uh, need a little bit of preparation the night before or once or twice a week but you know I've put it all down for you please print them off and work with them if you can if you come up with some other ideas please share them at uh, on the creation healing Facebook page I'm sure everyone would really like that so finally what we're going to be working with this week is connecting with the moon energy as the moon this week expands and grows so should our energy and I would really like you to connect with the element of air because that's how that, that's what that's the element that the moon is working with this week. So go outside in the evening and really feel her energy, become aware of the moon growing and expanding and her beauty. Sense the the, the sky and its complete vastness and really take some nice deep long breaths in filling your lungs and exhaling completely um, also when I was in my yoga practice today I really connected with my big toe and how we can connect the pituitary gland which is so important for our hormones during our yoga practice so our our big toe we have like a little soft um, a softer bit in the center of it and within that area is where the pituitary sits with regard to reflexology so during my um, yoga practice today I became very aware of how grounding that can be working with my big toe and really working with the pituitary so, to support my hormone balance and I found it really helpful so I invite the yoga teachers to include that within their yoga classes this week um, and really really connect with the big toe so although we're working with the element of air we're also using quite a grounding element of earth and the big toe on the ground to support our hormone balance um, another thing that we can really work with is our breath really connecting with the solar plexus which is the area of the kidneys, the adrenals, all of those hormones, and your liver, which is so imp uh, important, and pancreas, for hormone balance. So really working with the breath, breathing in deeply, 
pulling that energy down as you're using the whole of your your lung to really fire up the solar plexus or to balance them out dependent on what you need and as you exhale release that um, so again that's really working with the element of air um, in my yoga practice today we were doing a lot of um, quite uh, it was quite dynamic but they were they were we were holding the poses for quite a long time getting the technique right and I became I, I remembered how much cortisol affects um, us and particularly me I I I have quite a broad back these days and that's really because I have a high cortisol body and actually whilst we were using our yoga practice today I became very aware of how we can really become aware of what our back is doing particularly the shoulders and the shoulder blades and that area that we collect cortisol around and becomes wider and how we can work with our breath to release that so um my little yoga teachers if you would like to consider that for this week that would be fantastic as well for the people who are on this call or on the spring hormone detox who are not interested in yoga maybe think about what you could do you know if you like to dance really be aware of your feet and your big toe if you like to sing really work with that with your breath um if you like movement and dance, then go and dance, maybe do a moon dance. So um, I have provided a list of a few teachers that I, that I work with locally. Um, I know that there are some fantastic yoga teachers out there. If any yoga teachers want to promote themselves, then please feel free to do that on my Creation uh, Healing Facebook page. You are welcome to do that. And um, I hope you enjoy this week and I'm looking forward to some feedback. Okay, bye.